another community MVM map. This time made by Snowbat. The environment being some ancient Maya ruins around the Yucatan Peninsula. That's what the Yucatan map is all about. It's been released not too far, and there are still some refinement going here and there. It's beautiful. As you may see in this initial flyby, the map is quite long, as much as big rock, I'd say. For the most part, it has mirrored paths, left and right, and for the mission I'm going to play, often two simultaneous bombs will be delivered through those mirrored paths. There are three different paths for tanks instead, two along the normal paths I've just discussed, and one taking a secret door, which shuts down any attack to the tank until it comes back near the hatch through another secret door, as like it happens in Rottenburg. And about secret passages, there is another one, connecting the two big open spaces, the valley with the robot spawn points, and the one with the temple in the middle, and the final corridor to the bomb hatch. That's the secret passage. All the bridges and different higher routes may be populated by robots, when there are NG robots building teleporters in those parts of the map, else they run pretty much empty. Today I'm running as an NG, because I fear getting a sub-optimal ping while playing in the overseas potato MVM servers. This time I could play something different, to be honest, as my ping stayed at 120 milliseconds ping for the whole time. And to be clear, it's the first time I entered this map, and I needed the first waves to take the dimensions and measures of this map, understand where it is worth putting a teleporter exit. It should be at the bridge, near the secret passage it seems, where buildings nests, dispensers and such. Get going! We're under attack! Because of the bilateral construction of this map, with two paths, the life of the engineer isn't that easy. You build a sentry in one spot, and super scouts go and take the other route. Same applies with dispensers. You really can't offer ammo for all your team, as at least half of them need to stay at the other location, because often two bombs are being carried at the same time. The fourth wave is pretty peculiar of this mission. It adopts giant crits medics. I don't know exactly if they have an AOE effect beside their crits, because as it stands, I don't see much threat against crits medic versus 100% critical giant filling a lot of other missions around. The fact that they can't actually stop incoming damage is a godsend with respect to what would happen if they were quick fix or stock. I would like someone actually explain me what's the benefit of a giant crit medic compared to the, for example, a health on kill always crit heavy, like the bosses of Manhattan missions. If you have not seen, that's a release candidate version of the expert mission for this map. That's the reason behind the fact that it, as a mission, forces the team to divide in two different fronts often, and team up for the victory. The map fits perfectly this scenario, given the mirrored aspect it has. Oh dang, as soon as I build a dispenser, someone steal it.
What did he do? I just body blocked a medic in a corner. A giant medic, of course. Uh oh, no, I wasn't actually trying to do that. Though that would have been comical. And because the map is pretty long, once some robot gets around the final hatch, my destiny was to defend the bomb in the hope nobody could get till the hatch, while the rest of the team was defending at the robot dropping points. I'm really a bit scared to leave the bomb unattended. We lost once because of this. The mission is filled by NG with teleporters, and those may be the unforeseen consequences. I killed Mako recording this. I'm moving this. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Someone needs to get the bomb. I can't. Not. The bomb is about to be deployed. By the way, I've seen that in the first part of the mission, the double bombs being carried are actually timed bombs. They reset, as like as in the endurance missions. I just found out those giant soldiers cannot keep track of you if you circle them at point blank range. Other waves instead have stock bombs, the type that never gets reset. mission not a spy mission like just overall the only way which kind of seems like it would be good for spies the previous one but even then that wasn't really wasn't really that great it's just you need to burn canteens Oh dang, it is pretty apparent I'm a new buy of this map. I don't even have taken the measure to understand where actually the tank passes and what destroy by doing so. Incoming fire! 
And by the way, in the description you'll find a direct link to the workshop for this map, so you can test it by yourself. And as always, you'll find a link to the Steam Group of the Potato MVM servers, where these and other creations are continuously being beta tested until they are ready for prime time. So far, did you like this map? I may agree with someone that it is a clear deviation from the stock TF2 ambience and environment. The Inca ruins don't fit exactly the other intellectual properties Valve is used to, but that would be questionable toward Asteroid, Suijin, King and many others. Still, they are beautiful. I'd be intrigued to see it at night, maybe, but it's a bit too asking for the map as Nobat, maybe. The work around the moving clouds in the skybox is wonderful, in my opinion. It reminds me when I visited Machu Picchu in Peru. Now, head to Well job done, community. Please, Valve, awake from your deep sleep and start pumping some creations into the game officially already. Isn't that difficult? The map workshop was created for a reason. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.